Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, and this is episode 61. Well, if you've been following along, you know that I just got back from Texas uh, Friday night with the Houston. Ah, oh, incredible show. People were incredible. Um, it was always nerve-wracking. I go, I go to these venues really tight, you know, tensed up, and but I always keep in mind that by the time the end of the night, I'm usually very happy. I'm very relieved, very satisfied, and I get back to the hotel, sleep like a baby. Got in the car from Houston the next morning, Saturday morning. Uh, promoter drove us out to Austin to do um, uh, Come and Take It Live, at, uh, presents cocktails, or oh, I forgot how they promote it, <laughs> but anyway. Um, when we got there, the place was packed, but let me reverse a little bit here what, what, what went down. Everything was cool. Everything was cool. We stopped off. We ate. Uh, and just as we entered Austin, this is when we were coming from Houston. Everybody was fine. Everything was dandy. Um, when we all got to our rooms, we checked in. Angel gets a call from Caroline to come to the room. Angel goes to, to the room, and Caroline is not feeling well at all. Now, we still had about maybe two and a half hours, so we thought maybe get her some water. Uh, she took her, her medication. I know her stomach was messed up because um, she got some medicine for that, and uh, I was with her when she got that, so... And this was during the trip. What we thought, we thought maybe she had food poisoning. But that wasn't it either. Um, if you guys are aware, her husband, Dino, had a heart attack. And Dino's pretty young. He's, you know, in his 50s. And uh, he had a heart attack. Thank God he survived and he's good now. But it really put her over the edge as far as being paranoid. Um... She's extremely, extremely nervous for him. And this, remember, this is very new. This is the beginning of January that this happened. Um, <clears throat> and for that, that whole January, uh, she was a nervous wreck. And uh, so being in another state and knowing her husband um, had that episode. And that it can always happen again. You don't know. Um she was on edge and we did everything we can to to keep her calm and I think the anxiety of so much that was just going on in her life uh, she's also a, a teacher and uh, a music teacher in a school and I believe they had a performance that um, she couldn't be there so they had somebody I think it was her daughter was going to step in for her and she was nervous about that. And of course, she's always nervous about the shows we all are. Um, she did the first one. It was a success. But then we got to the second one. We got to the point where, you know, we had to call. Um, well, she did. She called the medics. So because we didn't know whether we were going to send her to the hospital. We were kind of praying that she would kind of get out of snap our out of it. She'll be okay, so we could do the show. We really anticipated this show, um, but time was getting close. So I'm talking about we only had like an hour to get ready. Usually the girls need at least two hours to get ready. We had like an hour left to get ready, and um, we were still in her room. And then when the paramedics arrived, uh, they hooked up to some. Uh, Machines and just checked her heartbeat and checked and apparently uh, everything was fine. She was good. She's just been going through a lot. You know, we don't blame her for that. 
I know if it was me, I, I can't see myself uh, reacting any different. Um, but um, so, you know, we were going to actually cancel the show. She pushed us to, you know, go uh, Angel and Sunshine. And which was, you know, to me, when we do cover girls, I like all three girls. But you know what? It's three human beings. Shit happens, you know? Um, people get sick, people get hurt. Things happen. And then it's a toss up. What do we do? Do we continue with the show? Do we cancel the show? What will let people down most? And of course, canceling the show altogether would have created a lot of craziness. It would have created those who made plans to come, maybe canceled other plans, uh, maybe had plans to meet up with other people. I mean, as far as money, people get refunds. That's not the problem. Um, or can we pull it off with just Angel and Sunshine? Well, you know, doing Angel and Sunshine made the most sense. And the reason being is Angel performs a lot by herself. And the people love it. We've never had issues with this, you know. So the cover girl situation is almost like a nostalgic, like a treat almost. It's... Um, we're selective at what shows and where we do them and how many times uh, doing these doubles that might be a little bit too much so I'm going to pull back from doing the doubles if I do a double it'll probably be one show will be the cover girls second show will be Angel by herself um, Angel's the lead singer um, if, if it was her God forbid that, that was sick um, then yeah, we would have to, have to totally cancel the show. Uh, but thank God that wasn't the situation, and we were able to still uh, take care of the fans. And you know what? I mean, everybody, this audience was so so supportive. They felt so bad, and so many of them sent us well wishes and sent Caroline well wishes. And the reception that we got while on stage was freaking amazing it really was it was like my hair stood up man I was like you know and this is what this is what to me makes a great show and the fact as a team that we could go on sunshine did a phenomenal job I mean she totally stepped up her game she not only did the routine that she practices all the time she did some new shit to kind of compensate for Caroline not being there, and it worked. And actually, it was kind of dope. I was having a good time. I was watching her. Um, I'm always messing with Sunshine. Me and Sunshine are like brother and sister. I mean, we. I'm always pranking her, or and she's definitely she always usually wants to punch me in my face. But uh, but I was really proud of her uh, that night. Uh, both of them, and Angel. You know, um, Angel's uh, definitely a born leader. She's. You know, she's my wife. I love her, but there's you can see the artist in her. And unless you work with artists like I do, you work close to them. It's hard to understand what I mean. There's this thing inside people who are artists who have this. I want you guys to understand. This is not about money at all for Angel. I'm be real with you. Um, Angel, if Angel had the means, she would probably just perform for free. She really enjoys it that much. And you don't find too many people that do that. Believe me. I talk to artists every single day. Several every single day. Whether I'm booking them or I'm not booking them. If it's they're not getting paid, it, you know, that, that's all that matters to them. And there are several that are like that. Yes, we do run a business, so yeah, we, we, we have to get paid, and everything has to be done the right way, but that's not where her passion is, you know? Um, she, and she leaves that on me. She never questions. She never, never, she never ever gets involved on the business side of any of these shows. She, she has no interest in it. Where she gets involved is, what songs are we going to sing? What are we going to wear? What can we do to fix this routine? Can we do a meet and greet? Can we do this drop? You know, so that's that's where her passion is, you know. And if you've ever seen her live, 
from you know on the stage I mean many of you will know exactly what I'm talking about there's this fire that she has that's it's crazy it, it really is um so but anyway you know big shout out to both of them them ladies they they sunshine angel uh they did a great great job um as for Caroline her son flew in because uh we didn't know if it was a good idea for her to fly out by herself the next day. So her son flew in, Matthew, um, Matt, who guy loves his mom to death, would do anything for her, both her kids and her husband. So they're really, really great family. She comes, she has, she has an incredible freaking household. It's amazing, amazing kids, amazing husband. Uh, we love them all. We look at them like family ourselves. Um, Anyway, he came in. We saw him this morning. As we were leaving, he was uh, he was coming in. So uh, he's taking care of mom. And as far as uh, we know, excuse me, guys. As far as we know, um, I have to check on her in a little bit um, before I shut down. Make sure that everything's cool. Uh, but as far as we know, everything is fine. So she's just she has a few weeks off, so she's gonna chill out. Um, and take it easy and kind of kind of regroup herself and you know hopefully there's no no issues with her husband and his health is fine and everything gets back and everything gets back on track and because we're looking forward to a really good summer uh, a lot of shows that I want to line up and uh, everybody from Austin first of all from Houston everybody who showed up I just want to say thank you thank you so much uh, the Houston people if you don't know who I am I was a fat dude standing <laughs> We had the turntables on the stage, that freaking stage that was rotating. It was kind of dope, but I got to admit, man, I could see how the girls were getting dizzy. They were talking about getting dizzy on that thing. <laughs> but uh, and, and it went pretty fast. That thing wasn't, it was like a freaking, um, uh, what you call it, a carousel. I'm telling you, you know. And uh, <clears throat> but <clears throat> then it would stop and then go the other way. It was crazy. But anyway, everybody who showed up, oh my God, that crowd, that crowd was phenomenal, man. When the crowds, you know, it's not about what I hear because there are people that are not yellers, they're not screamers, they're not losing their mind. So I can't judge. And even though that crowd was bananas, I mean, that crowd was loud. They shook the house when they cheered. But beyond that, what I do is I look at the faces. I look at the faces. I, I tend to check out the people. I start from the people in the front row. I find the people who are singing along. I find the people who are dancing. I find the people who are waving. I find the people that are doing the routine when they do inside, outside. Um, I see the people holding up pictures, holding up album covers. Um, I see these people. I see, I see them. And sometimes these are not the people that are yelling. So you can't always determine, even though she gets an incredible response, like that yell is there, trust me. But even if it wasn't, there were so many people that were just mesmerized by the performance, you know? Um, and that was in Houston. Unfortunately, we couldn't do a meet and greet. That place is not set up for that. Not only that, after us, uh, they had Lisa Lisa and then Stevie B. So it's not cool for us to go somewhere and start doing autographs while they're performing. So that's bad etiquette. We don't do that. We'll do that in a smaller club, and it's usually when everybody's done, but not um, not a venue like that. Just doesn't work. Uh, then the next day in Austin, same thing. The place was packed, packed. It looked sold out to me. They said there was still room upstairs, and there probably was, but the downstairs was packed. It was packed. It was like a sea of heads. If you guys see any of the videos or any of the, the photos online, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, it, was, it was packed like a sea of heads. And the thing about the Austin people, man, wow, incredible. Like, these people really, really love these girls, you know? And there was this, you know, we saw album covers being, you know, uh, waved, you know? And then there was this, these, there was these guys on the, let me see. So I'm, I'm on the stage looking towards the audience. They were on the left side, maybe five rows back, a little bit to the left. These guys sang and danced like every single record. And they really, they threw the expressions out. Like they wanted to be noticed and Angel noticed them. So I just wanted, man, if they're hearing this 
podcast, man. I would really love to know who they are. And, you know, um, they didn't, I didn't, I don't think they came backstage. They should have. I wish, I wish they would have, you know. Um, so we did a meet and greet after the show. Um, I don't think too many people knew about it. We should have made an announcement. That's really not our job. That's the promoter's job. Um, so sometimes I'm not thinking about it, but we should have made an announcement because we had a lot of people come backstage, but it wasn't everybody. And it was an open VIP. So everybody could have actually gone back there, you know? And you know what? We don't. We would have stayed there and taken pictures and did autographs for every single one of you. Every single one. That's our policy. That's what we do. And it's not because it's the job. It's because we enjoy it and we appreciate the fans. So... But it was a it was a great show, and um. But anyway, so we just got home a few minutes ago. We stopped off and picked up Santana, grabbed a, a pizza pie, um. Uh, and uh, actually, we went in the restaurant, and sat down, ate a pie, then grabbed a pie because the new pizza room brought it home. Uh, it's hard to get New York pizza out here. We found another place, and it's not that far from us, so it was cool. Um, and uh, and that's it. Now I'm back, and I said, let me let me. I want to do the podcast. I want to talk to you guys for a minute. Um, I got a lot of footage, a lot of video footage. So, um, it's basically on the road. It's the journey. Um, so be on the lookout for that. If you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Please subscribe to the channel and then share with other people and ask them to sh- subscribe to it. Also, I have a lot of really cool stuff that I'm trying to put together and try to work on you know and, and it's so you guys can enjoy I enjoy building it and it makes me feel good when you guys enjoy watching it so um, other than that uh, I got one eye open one eye shut <laughs> um, I'm so tired it's crazy it's not jet lag it's straight up exhaustion um, <clears throat> I don't like to, s- <clears throat> to sleep during the day so when I come home from these shows I like to uh the flight wasn't that bad. It was only like two and a half hours. Excuse me, guys. I probably make most of you guys yawn when I yawn on this thing. Um, I'm like a baby, man. I don't stay up that late. I stay up late specifically for you. That's it. Other than that, I don't stay up late. And the only reason why I do this late is to just to make sure my day is basically over. I don't want to, you know, talk to you guys in the middle of the day. Knowing something great, something great happens, and I'm excited. It's in me, and I want to talk about it, and I can't until the next day. I don't want to do that. So I try to wait as late as I could. Um, but anyway, so we got home. Uh, like I said, the flights were only like two and a half hours each way. So that, that was sweet. Not like Fresno we did uh, last week, where it was like six hours, like f- actually like eight hours, or like four with a layover, and then four. That was crazy. They they. They put us through it, but that's because there's no direct flights from Charlotte to Fresno, California. So uh, we had to do it like that. And then it had to be early enough because we have to do a sound check. You know, so when you got to do a three o'clock sound check, you know, you got to leave, leave pretty early, you know. So, um, but anyway, I'm back home now. I got a full week ahead of me. I got so much to do business wise as well as personal. I got to go get my car inspected and get it registered. I have to, you know, I have to get an um, inspection done and so on. And uh, uh, so I have a few things I, I got to just take care of this week. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to talk to you guys. Scott willing, tomorrow night. Uh, please, again, share, subscribe, like, uh, comment, love. Give me some hearts. Uh, give me some thumbs ups. Those are all good, man. They just, what they tell me is you're listening. They don't necessarily tell me whether you love it or you don't. If you just give me a thumbs up, but I know you're listening, and that's to me, that's cool. I, I'll I'll take that, I'll take that a hundred times, man. Trust me. So, all right, guys, listen, I'm done for the night. Good night. Be cool. Sleep tight. Don't let the bad bugs bite. And good night, freestyle. Down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.